Hulk Forum Builder Shopify App Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a form within the app of Hulk Form Builder. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The forms are very necessary on any store or online store because these forms will help you understand more your customers and their behavior. You can, for example, build a pop-up form with this app and then you are going to put a questionnaire. And that questionnaire is going to precise you or for you the behavior of your customer. So without a further ado, we are going to the shopify.com. You need only to sign in into your account. As you can see here, we have signed in already. We are going to, or we are facing the admin dashboard. Now, we are going to seek here for the search. We're going to click on search. Then we are going to type Hulk a form builder like that. Then we are going to click on enter or search into the uh, here Shopify store. Now we are going to see here a lot and a lot of apps, but the uh, app that we are going to seek for is the Hulk form builder. And it is a very, very specific. As you can see here, we have the name and we are going to choose it. It has a very high rating of 4.9 from a 1,400 and more reviews. So we are going to click on it. Then we are going to click on install. After that, you are going only to permit the installation for that specific app. So we are going to be redirected to the admin dashboard again. We are going to give the permission to the installation. Click on install. Now wait for the app to be installed or integrated within your store. Then you are going to see it popping right here. And the first thing that you need to do is to click on pin to the navigation because who knows, maybe it will go away from there and you are going to search for it. So right here, we are going to see here the setup. We need to enable the app, create a form, and add a form to our store. So we are going step by step. The first thing is to click on app embed. We are going to click on the theme editor. It will take us to the theme right here of our store or our store itself. So we are going to make sure that it is enabled, not like that, but like that. We're going to click on save again. We have seen here that changes has been saved. We're going to exit this specific uh, page. Now we have the first step set. We're going to click on the second step, which is create a new form. Go ahead and click on new form. So we are going to wait for the store to be optimized. Here we have the form setting, the form design, and the form integration. We're going to commence with the form settings. We have the form details, ticket system, allow form access, here uh, form access, uh, form schedule, and etc. So see here and select the uh, most convenient form for you. For example, this one and that one. These are only the settings of the form. And for the form design, we're going to see here the form heading, form elements, captcha, form itself, input, submit button, and layout. So we are going to commence step by step. We have here the form previewer. You can see that we have a form banner. You can add an image, for example, you can go ahead and upload any image. So let's go ahead and add for this one as an image and valid extension. So it doesn't matter. It is up to you to add an image or not. So here we have the image height, image width is fully controllable, the image alignment and etc. The form title is contact us in this case, but you can go ahead and modify this by putting something else. For a description, 
you have here the description case and it is very empty so we are going to put here anything to see if it will work so i'm going to put a notice contact us only when when for example you have visited the faq section and didn't find a solution for example so this is the message they will put right here their name last name email subject for example here we have a lot of inquiries and the message is it is customizable when they finish you are going they are going to click on submit and here we have the submit button the form elements here we have all the elements right there we have the captcha you can go ahead and limit and we have the form itself transparent color for example we are going to choose a color like this or more bluey like that we're going to choose it like this and boom there we have it you can put also a gradient like this one for example i'm going to the bluish this and that maybe like that boom so you are going to select whatever you want from here and then don't forget to save the changes so we're going to save it stay and boom here we have the form design now let's move on to the form integration the form integration will be composed from these elements and unfortunately they are all on the pro version and the pro plus that means that we are not going to have the right to work with them until we are going to subscribe to a monthly or a yearly uh, plan so back to the form settings we are going to see here the form name and etc we have for example the after submission actions our responded email admin email and etc once you have created your form it will be in this uh, particular form here we have title the form id and etc so you can go ahead and see all the actions you can see here the preview from or upload or form data clear cage and etc so we are going to uh, skip this part you can add another form from clicking here uh, also you can go ahead and visit the settings and see what is all about here we have the monthly analysis uh, here we have alternative email address to see the analysis we have here the theme change update notification the app language we have for the pro the language can be um, uh, here as you can see it is fully blurred because it is for the pro version only can be um, mm, changing the language block domains you can block some domains and for the integration you can add for example a stripe payment email service provider like mailchimp domain setup and api tokens to create a new key for example and for, use it for integration for automation animation or um, ai that was for the settings now for the pricing we are going to see here the listing so they have uh, a listing you're going to see here we have the free version the pro the pro plus and the global plan if you want to join their party you are going to uh, use only the pro plus because global plan is not suited for uh, small uh, stores you are only going to use the pro plus that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one